Medicare has the link. Oh, this should be entertaining. I think so. All right. Oh, Gator, he has the link too, right? He should. Okay. There he is. There he is. Oh, no, it's not. That's the robot Gator. Oh, it's Bot Gator. Don't worry about it. We're not taking... It doesn't matter. We're not taking followers from the Discord, but... Oh, well. You're already there. There he is. Mr. Mediker, how you doing, sir? Oh, how are you boys doing? Ah, you know. Same old, same old. How you doing? I'm seeing those numbers. That's impressive. You guys have been hitting five over 5K now a couple of nights in a row. Yeah, just having fun doing the same shit we do. Yeah, isn't it great when you can do a show and not fuck it up (laughs) by being retarded? (laughs) (laughs) Right, it's a, it's a, it's a wow. really, it's a, what would the religious? Oh, the, the Southerners, the religious Southerners would say it's a blessed job. Well, you've got a great job, huge audience making good money, and all you got to do is not implode. It's well, really it was, that simple. Yeah, it was quite close today. We almost scrolled down a Twitter page. We shouldn't have scrolled down. Yeah, oh. a bitch had a, a dildo, a dildo in her ass. Luckily, I didn't scroll further down. But yeah, I guess it, it kind of is the. It's almost like the process of elimination if you look at the history of of this uh, of this uh, genre. Uh, we we kind of just didn't implode. No no host drama. No and host still, drama. Yeah, you built you built it up. I mean, I remember your first couple of streams. You had like a hundred people watching. You're up at yeah. five thousand. Fuck! By next year, you'll probably be breaking five digits. You're probably up at ten thousand. Well, I mean, if things keep trending this way, we will be. Yeah. Next year, I can call Jordan Peterson a faggot to his face. <laughs> Now, Ralph, I love how diplomatic you are. When you approach a situation that's a little uncomfortable, you're very good. So let me ask you an uncomfortable <laughs> question. Since Please. Vamp is a admin of your server, that's what's true. your opinion on the conversation between Vamp and Andy? What did you think of what he had to say about that? Uh, <laughs> so, I, I, okay, I guess I'll, I'll just say this. Um, Andy Worski has always been nothing but honest with me. And uh, I was on his show today, and he wasn't trashing the Kumite. He wasn't going at Vamp. He wasn't going at Tonka. Matter of fact, a lot of his chat was going at those same people, and he refused to go there. Um, so I, I don't know. Uh, I was informed while we were on the air that uh, Tonka and Failure were, were kind of airing him out. Um, I I don't know what that was about. If it was if it was old beef bubbling up, or did it just happen to be because. You know, Andy was in, in their same time slot getting like 1500 compared to their 300 um, if that's what the issue was. Um, but look, Andy's always been good to me. I can't say anything bad about the guy. Uh, as far as Vamp, um, I mean, she's she been nice to me as well. I, I, I think it's I, I think it's unwarranted the things she was saying about Andy, though. So Listen to you juck and jive. I like <laughs> <laughs> Just dodging around that minefield. It's very diplomatic. I mean, look, I don't know, I, 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 especially when he said, OK, let's just scroll down the same conversations on screen. I, I don't really see how that could be right for, you know, manipulation. I mean, it's, it's right there on the screen. You guys are both going to simultaneously scroll. I don't know. I, I, I like Andy. I like what he's been doing. And, uh, you know, we well, yeah, had we had him on the show just last week. He was funny. I mean. Yeah, his numbers have been doing. I mean, like he did. I think was it a stream yesterday? Somebody said he got like two K watching. He yeah, got like fifteen hundred. Yeah, I was. I was, was on that with Blair White. It with was the Blair funny. White stuff. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Andy's kind of like Rasputin. You can't. You can't kill that dude. It, it's so weird though, Ralph, because I thought there was no morning audience going by another show that's on at that time slot that only gets like mm. two hundred people watching. <laughs> I uh, where's Andy, where's Andy getting these numbers from? Oh, there's a lot of people that want something entertaining in the morning. Oh, do they? Are they desperate for some entertainment in the morning? <laughs> I think so. I think so. It's been clearly Me lacking. Personally. The people are desperate for it. Me personally, I think so, yes. Now, let me ask you, where do you think uh, Tonka and the Kumase went wrong? Oh, well, I, I gave my two main gripes, which was the, uh, the Viva Lassa shit was driving me crazy. And the fight me in real life stuff was just, I, could, I couldn't take it after a certain point. It's like everybody, I want to fight everybody. And um, that was one of those things where if you hear it enough time, you're like, I, I don't know, maybe it's just a difference in age. Maybe maybe I am old now at this point, but I grew up around uh, an online culture where if you got to the point where you wanted to fight somebody in real life because they made you mad on the Internet. You lost. Uh, yeah. You lost. Yeah, <laughs> that was it. That was that was game over. You look like a fucking retard. Um, 
I, I, I just think that there was like this, I, I don't know, man. It was, again, it's the easiest shit in the world. It's the easiest formula in the world. Andy and JF had a huge audience, made a lot of money. Tonkin failure, huge audience, made a lot of money. But this infighting shit just fucking imploded them, right? And it was just to the point where, I mean, everybody splintered off and did their own thing, right? And JF's doing his own streams now, and I think he's pulling in like uh, anywhere between one to 2,000 people. So he, he kind of survived it, right? Um, Andy looks like he might be getting back to it. There's only one guy that's having some difficulty. You know what I mean? There's there's one guy out there that's seemingly struggling with this. Now, maybe that could be because once he gets angry at you, he tries to make love to everybody that you ever fought with. Like people like, I don't know, Kraut. And uh, those Sargon. particular gentlemen. Yeah, Sargon. Based Sargoy of Applebee's. Sargon. <laughs> uh, Sargon. Now, let oh, me ask you, is, is there a certain bit of, I mean, maybe frustration because, you know, you've been on our stream many, many times. You, you, you've promoted us on your own stream. You've tweeted us out. Uh, but you did the same thing for the Kumite, and they were rolling right along. Now, of course, uh, maybe I shouldn't toot my Well, heart. and I'd like to add, too, you know, in the intervening months between kind of when the Kumite ended and Andy kind of stopped doing his thing, I didn't talk shit about any of them. No, you didn't. I, yeah, I didn't. There weren't. I wasn't throwing out jabs at them on a daily basis. I wasn't making videos or streams shitting on them. I just kind of left them to do their own thing. Tonka is the one that suddenly wanted to get into it. I mean, he puts out these passive aggressive tweets where he's like, "Oh, look at this multi billion dollar international corporation <laughs> and their fucking sporting events got these many people watching." Well, no shit, idiot. It's a billion dollar corporation. <laughs> <laughs> what are you brain dead? You fucking retarded monkey. What are you talking about? Of course wrestling organization or a fucking MMA organization has the money and the marketing to get a big audience. And then like, this whole, let's set, set up fights between everybody, you know, newsflash champ. Okay. I, uh, you know, uh, people with 50 million combined subscribers are going to have people watching them if they're sitting on the toilet, taking a shit. So I don't know if it's necessarily the fight component of that, that drew in the fucking eyes. It might just be that they're at a point where they have enough of an audience that they tune in for anything. Well, but like, be, oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry. To be fair, that that stream he was talking about only had twenty k people watching it. Yours had twenty seven. Oh no! But didn't you see the backpedal after that? He said, "No, I didn't mean live viewers. I meant total views afterwards." Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then he <laughs> he put out another one. I think taking a shot at you guys, where it was like six thousand viewers on like some WWE thing, and he's like, "This is so much better than people sitting around on stream uh, fart huffing." Yeah, I've seen I've seen that and look, I don't know. You know, he did a stream with the Logan Paul thing and he had 7K watching. But the title of the stream made you think that you could actually watch the fight on the stream. So there were a lot of people tuning in and they're like, "Whoa, I'm about to see this fight. Let me let me watch this." And then they tune in and there's no fight there. I mean, I don't even know if you'll call that clickbaiting. That's, that's I, I don't just, know. My advice to Tonka would be uh don't be bitter, be better. All right, you want an audience, earn the audience. Be entertaining. Nobody wants to listen to Godzilla for four hours in the morning with dead air interspersed every 20 fucking minutes. Well, and, and you looked at, you know, I don't know if you did look, but, you know, Worski, he wasn't talking about him. He wasn't, you know, slamming them. He was just doing his show. Uh, and there was a quote from Dong Wave and Tonka's on stream where he's just like, look, I, I did I did tune into Worski's show and you know what he's not doing? He's not, he's not running down the Kumite. He's not going at you guys. Uh, but here for the first, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes of your show, you're, you're spending it on Andy. Whereas if you just spend it on your own show, it'd probably be better better time spent. You know what I mean? Hey, well, I, I wouldn't even be talking about this guy if he didn't want to start this all up. But, like, you listen to this shit. I mean, he's he blamed me for Blood of Palooza. He said, well, his gym hyped it up and it turned out to be shit. Again, I didn't organize it. I didn't make money off of it. It wasn't on my channel. I didn't sell merchandise for it. I didn't put the programming together. I wasn't the fucking host, right? I was just a guy that, hey, let's set up a couple of fights and Andy's going to have a fight and we'll do it on our thing. And it'll be this big deal. You know, if that gets fucked up, that's on you, man. That's your show. 
you know, if I put together a bad show, it's a bad show. If Ralph, if you do, it's on you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it takes some fucking responsibility for your own platform. Well, it would be like if the heel stream was a, a failure and I just said, Jim, God damn it. Why wasn't this a success? What the fuck? You fucked this up. It's like, no, Ralph, you organized this. You booked all these people for this and it sucked. Of course, I don't think it did suck. I think most people liked it, but it, it would, you know, it would fall flat. That's, that's not a very fair criticism, right? Well, yeah, I heard a clip, too, of, like, failure from the Kumite saying, does Jim hate me or something? I haven't said anything about failure. Like, the only person I've responded to is Donga, because Donga wants to throw boulders at me, so I'll huck a few back at his drive. Right? You know, like, that's kind of the the lane I'm in. The difference here, it seems like, is, you know, everybody says, oh, you know, it's just, he's just, you know, he's allowed to be critical, he could be critical. But then when people go back and even have light, minor criticisms of him, like he sicks the fucking uh, self esteem team on you, and it, it like I had a, I had a stream where I was talking about my criticisms, and goddamn the self esteem team showed up in force. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I, I'm familiar with the fact that you were you were starting to go in a little bit on that, and then uh, uh, had some people come out to try to motivate you in the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, boy, did that happen! I'd say just light it on fire and watch the fucking uh, pretty pretty flames. <laughs> <laughs> that's what people want man they, they want an entertaining show they want you to speak your piece brother they want you to say <laughs> <what> you <laughs> uh, they don't they don't want to hear you know they don't want the the, the diplomatic thing's fine because ralph can pull it off a bit but they want to hear some shit talk man i mean that's that's what's entertaining but i, I these pot shots that he's been throwing at me and it's fucking obvious as shit well, he's, he done numbers, that a long. He done that for fighting. a long time. Like yeah, that wasn't won. just. Yeah, he he been Sorry. talking shit for months. Like. Oh no no I'm a, I'm aware and I mostly yeah. just ignored it because I didn't really give a fuck. It's like all right whatever he's upset for some reason, but it just kept going on and on and on and on and then he started bringing in the fucking circus freaks. Here's crowd. Here's David shit rat. Um, you know here's some of the fucking YouTube scientists. Here's Tommy C to whine about it. Uh, here's Sergun, and then he <laughs> brings in fucking short fat otaku and the rest of the skeptic retards. So it's like really obvious. It's really fucking obvious. If you want an audience, put an entertaining show on. Don't get pissed at other people for not promoting you now, or for not showing up for your shit. Why is he? And look, again, I'll try to be diplomatic, but, I, you know, I guess I'll just I'll just speak off the cuff. Why is he upset in the first place? So um, you helped his program. You promoted them. You appeared on the program many times. No, you, let's you be honest. Them, Andy- like, Andy helped their program. All right, well, the best moments on the morning kumite were Andy related. When Andy trademarked liberalist, that was funny as shit. When Andy thought that uh, right wing watch was going to get him banned from fucking Israel, that was funny as shit. Like those are moments that you can kind of remember. So I don't know why he's going like what this animosity with Andy is. Andy wasn't the one that organized the fucking uh, IBS apocalypse stream. Andy didn't, you know. Uh, he was there like you guys were, you know what I mean? Just to be there if somebody wanted the well, fucking Well, I think a I think he blames Andy for the for the death. Well, I shouldn't say the death, but the uh, uh the <laughs> diminishment of the Kumite, that 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 whole live thing where they they ended the Kumite and then they had all those fights. I think he blames Andy for that. And then for you, um I guess, you know, the whole IBS apocalypse stream didn't go the way he wanted. I mean, it didn't go the way I look. You know, looking back was even still. But look, like, it was, it was a, IBS. But let me let me let me just say this. Okay, so I was on that program. Yeah. Um, was it a complete spurt fest? Yes. yes. Was, it, was it something that you know, looking back, it would, uh, maybe I shouldn't have participated in. Maybe. Um, that being said, okay, so I just looked at it as okay, it's a one off, whatever. It was it was a complete shit show, and then I just went back to doing my show. Like I didn't, uh, you know, we did one program about it after it happened, and then it was over. I didn't hold any I'm laughing about how gay it was. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and that was it. You know, we just I, I don't I don't understand why months later, oh, you know, so and so, and I know he has his criticisms. There was some video or whatever face. I I don't know. It's that's another thing. Well, that and again, the about, way, but, yeah, yeah again, ahead. the way it was set up, and I told everybody this the same fucking thing in the DMs. Just you know, redact it if it's private information. And so I had people sending me multiple versions of shit. And I, you know, I'd look it over. Um, and you know, he, he's talking about the zoom video, right? Or is he talking yeah. about somebody else's video? I guess there was a video where, um, look, I haven't fully examined, but the, there was a video that zoom played where it showed, 
I mean, you if know, you go uh, back and watch that stream, you Zoom literally uh, overcuts on his audio saying, Jim is a faggot. He made me remove this. Like, there's like yes. 30 fucking examples of that. Well, there's there's a clip where it shows, um, you know, Tonka and Vamp, like their actual faces or whatever. Look, I, and I've said this before. Um, everybody knows who Tonka is, right? Like, so. Well, wait, wait, how could it be a doxing of Vamp? I mean, she does live streams on camera on her own channel. Yeah, he can't, be, he can't be talking about Vamp. I guess he's talking about himself then, because uh, there's a clip where it shows a picture of him, you know, when he was a wrestler or going down the road or some shit. Uh, but but everybody knows who he is. That that's another thing that I don't really understand the whole, um, you know, doxing angle or whatever. When everybody knows who you are, there's videos where it's it's clearly the same person. And there's even, you know, broadcasts where you came on there and said, yeah, that's the same person. Failure on the IBS stream said, yeah, that's the same person. Like, what? I don't know. And, and why did he wait three or four fucking months to bring this up? Well, okay. I'll, 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 I'll just say he, he's, he, well, should I just go completely off? I just light it on fire, I mean, he, he says he told you about it, even during the program that he told you about it. I honest to God don't remember. If he did, okay. I don't remember. Like I, I said, I told everybody, if something pops up and you don't want it on there, say something up front and the stream, I'll kill the stream right there. Uh, I mean, he, I said that at the beginning. Yeah. And there was even a couple points in the stream where you're like, okay, you know, we're about to kill it. I said, don't do this or whatever. And the, everybody there, me included, were just like, nah, keep going, whatever. Yeah. And the uh, thing is, Andy was trying to recall the tweets where he's like, oh, uh, Don, uh, Don, Taco was saying that Jim is a doxer. Uh, Tonka was tweeting out shit saying, yeah, Jim doxed people on demand when Zoom wanted it. Jim was showing faces and names when Zoom asked. All right, so he's trying to make it out to be like, I was just with uh, my finger on the button ready to do it. And then he walked it back, just like he did with that shit where it was, oh, you guys will never beat these numbers on this stream. Oh, no, I didn't mean live viewers. And now I suddenly mean total views. He does that shit a lot where he'll say, he'll make a statement and then he'll walk it back a little bit and try to move the goalpost. Yeah, and, and look, my whole thing is, of course, he claims, you know, he messaged you at the time or whatever. I don't know the whole details because, I, you know, I don't control either of you guys' accounts. Um, I, I would I would expect that if he had said, you know, stop the stream, that you would have stopped the stream. Um, but even even if he had all that beef, it's like Andy said, what are you doing? Like, this makes no sense, picking a fight with Medicare. And I told, I, you know, I've said the same thing uh, before to various people. Like, the, like why are you doing this? This guy promoted you for months. It just doesn't, it's not really a logical move. So if for some reason, you know, down the line, you decide you don't want to come on our show um, for whatever reason, maybe you're just busy or maybe you just don't feel like appearing on live streams, you know, anymore. That's fine. Wh what am I going to say? Oh, Jim's a piece of shit. After all the times he came on our show and helped promote it and pimp it out on his own stream. That makes, that's just looks like sour grapes. You know what I mean? Looks petty. Yeah, well, if, like, he, if he wants to make it out like I have something out for him, I would have gone after myself. You know what I mean? Like if I had an issue and I wanted to to go after Tonka, I, I would have done that. Like the IBS apocalypse thing, people were bitching saying, oh, we've got all these complaints. Fine, I'll set up a fucking stream. You can all scream at each other. Six and a half fucking hours of it. Oh, God. Uh, you know, and so <laughs> I, I don't know, man. It, it was a clusterfuck of his stream. I honestly don't remember him telling me to stop it. If he did, I, I would have. I really, honest to God, don't remember him saying that. That's that's what that's his claim. I don't know. Like I, I was just there. Like you said, you talked about this before. I was. I really. I, I don't know. I was just kind of there along for the ride. Me and Worski really didn't have much to do with the main complaints anyway, and we were just kind of there, you know, commenting every once in a while, but really kind of outside of the, or excuse me, on the periphery. I guess would be the way to explain it, but. Um, I, I, I don't know. You know, let the ghosts stay in the past, right? We're, we're living <laughs> in the present now. It's a new age. It's the age of the kill stream. All right. Get with the program, Tonka. <laughs> and he's going to stream in the morning and he's going to fuck your numbers. And Ralph is going to stream at night and he's going to fuck the corpse that was left over from the fucking Andy <laughs> game earlier. Now, let me ask you this, you know, let's, let's, let's try to look on the sunny side. Is there a possibility? Of course, you know, this has been put out there before. And you were there ready to uh, discuss things. Is there a possibility, you know, maybe you guys could talk, get on the... You know, I already, I, I, I was, you were the one to put out that yeah. uh, lovely offer. And uh, I agreed. 
I agreed right away. I said, sure, I'll go on the kill stream. And then he said, I, it, Donka's response was, I don't operate on gym time. Well, it's not my stream. You're the one that put out the invite. It's not even, this isn't my platform. I don't make money off it. These people aren't my viewers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but I was, I was willing to come on, but he didn't want to do it. And then he tried spinning it later by saying, no, you have to come on the kill stream. <laughs> why would I? Why, 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 would I, why would I do that? No, why yeah, you not, mean you mean come on the bring, Kumite. Or, or, yeah, uh, yeah. Or the Kumite. Why would I not bring the viewers here if we're going to do that? I'm going to make you shekels, Ralph. I'm not making him shekels. <laughs> Fuck him. I'll make you shekels. The screaming match can be here. Um, I don't know. I mean, do, does he think it's going to just be a destruction, or maybe? I mean, maybe there's some some you know way that there could be a I don't know about agreement, but just okay. Let's let's put it behind us. Maybe I don't know. It just seems. I don't know. I've got more interesting shit to do. I've got uh, the DeFranco stuff coming up, right? And then... Oh, wait, 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 wait. What are you doing on the DeFranco stuff? I'm waiting for Wor or World Mental Health Day. And oh, then I'm going to take a big I... shit on DeFranco. Very that's good. tomorrow, right? No, that's, no, uh, that's Wednesday. Tomorrow. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah tomorrow. Yeah. Depending yeah. on what time zone you're in. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so I got that. And then I've got um, a really fucking good stream coming up uh, dealing with... Um, I've got some really fucking insane stalkers so we're gonna be watching that shit that'll be fun now let me ask you while you're here did you and we didn't get to talk about it tonight because the the stream is actually three hours long and i haven't had a chance to go through and time stamp or do some type of super cut did you i saw you tweeted about the whole kenny jones thing did you know anything about that or the kenny oh uh, yeah so somebody sent me a, a time stamp of a stream that uh it was josh from kiwi right yeah i uh, did with this dude where he's like, oh, if Jim wants to make a video on me, he can make a video on me. But the, like, the stream is like three hours long, so I didn't watch the whole stream. So I don't know exactly so what what's the story behind that. What's the situation? Um, so basically, he donated a power supply unit to Margaret McLennan, who uh, used to ghost write for... I, th I think you know Margaret. Used to ghost write for Milo and do a bunch of other things. Actually, on the Medicare Masterson mega show, she came in for like five minutes it wasn't very well received because it kind of threw off the stream but uh she she's a friend of mine she's been around for a while she's pretty funny um anyway he donated a power supply unit to her and then she stopped making streams um the one of the main reasons she stopped making streams was because um, this guy was kind of you know like stalking her basically um and now he's on a autistic quest to I don't know, expose her or something. And that's what that stream was about. He's paid some people to make a video for him. Originally tonight, we were going to do a segment on that. But like I said, I didn't have time to go through and timestamp it. Um, it's complete autism, basically. Uh, so, okay, yeah. so th this guy donated parts then? Or he was like a, a patron? Yeah, so what? he was a Patreon uh, supporter. And she was making, you know, building a computer or whatever. And he sent her a power supply unit and now he feels cheated because she took down her videos and she's not making any more videos and she's not playing Overwatch like he wants her to play. And so he thinks she should either A, make more videos, B, like give him the copies of the old videos or A and B, do both and, you know, start start playing Overwatch again. Well, mm -hmm. if he's unhappy <clears throat> with the shit that she's doing, like he stopped giving her money, right? That would be the first thing, wouldn't it? Yeah, he did stop giving her money, but he he's taking his other money and started. So he hired a private investigator to you know, Wait, find out. What? Yeah, he hired a private investigator. Uh, he's hired people to kind of uh, uh, fuck with her. Uh, according to her, she's he's also spoofed phone numbers, trying to like you know. Um, you know, message her phone and shit. Uh, I mean, he admits on that stream that he so absolutely wait, hired the private investigator. He, he's doing this because he wants the power supply in it back, or what? What? No, he wants he wants more Margaret McLennan. Basically, he wants more, wants more Overwatch videos. Yeah. Wait, so the dude hired a PI? Yes. To hunt this chick down because he wants to watch her play Overwatch. Yep. Yes. Yes. You got that one hundred percent correct. It gets even it gets even worse. There's there's a lot more By shit. By the way, Josh, do we have the do we have the uh crossover worked yes. out? Yes, it's already set up. Okay. Uh Josh from uh from Kiwi Farms, maybe maybe he can explain it. Again, I've been on the inside of this for a while because Margaret's a friend of mine, but Josh was actually there for the full three hours of the stream. Maybe maybe he can explain it for a second while I have to take a piss because my bladder's about to explode if I do not. Um <laughs> let, let me let, I got him, I got him. Go oh, ahead. Cool. Hello. Hey. 
So, okay, yeah, this guy is fucking crazy because he, <laughs> he, he was getting bullied in the voice chat in the Discord. And he wanted to, he was afraid of me making a thread on him. So he's like, let's have a conversation over uh, voice chat in private. And I was like, okay. Um, about 15 minutes into talking with this guy, I'm like, okay, I have to make a secret live stream and show everybody in the Discord what, what this guy is saying when he thinks it's in confidence. And he goes through this story, and basically what it is, is uh, he bought a power supply unit with a couple other fans of this this chick who was popular during 2016 uh, during the election as a as like one of the Trump women who were kind of getting popular. And the arrangement was that if they bought this new gaming computer, because her laptop was junk and it couldn't render videos properly, uh, she would start doing a, a certain schedule where she would put out content like every day of the week. And after the computer got bought, she didn't, uh, she didn't fulfill that obligation because she has Crohn's disease and she had some kind of medical emergency shortly after the computer got put together. And uh, since then, Kenny has been on a crusade to get her to fulfill that obligation. And he basically said during the live stream that I was putting on uh, secretly that he would stop harassing her if she did one hour of content a week live streaming. and. Um, and re-uploaded all the videos she deleted when she got spooked by the stalkers that were harassing her. So, uh, he, and I asked him, he's like, do you even watch this, this shit that she's doing now? And he said, no. And he said, it's just the principle of the matter. So he doesn't even watch, or he says he doesn't watch what she does. But he is demanding that she, that she do this shit for, for this principle, this obligation that he's not interested in himself. So why why is he hiring a PI then? I mean, he knows what her what? social media is, right? Like, why what does he need the she, PI for? She had said that he's from a city where three women were found dead. And it's true. The city he's from actually does have an active serial killer. And she kind of implied that it might be him because he's a creepy weirdo, <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> okay. So he wanted to sue her for defamation. And he claims he hired the PI to uh, dox her so he could send litigation towards her. He never did sue her, but the PI, uh, after, I guess he also thought that uh, Kenny was a creepy weirdo, um, extorted him for thousands of dollars to keep the fact that he tried to dox her a secret. Uh, he didn't pay her, and the guy kept his word and did uh, alert her over yeah, text the guy, message. Yeah, the guy said, if you, pay me, if you pay me $3,000, I won't, I won't tell her all the shady shit she's been doing. Of course, he, he didn't pay it. It, so. it was a guy from, like, Sri Lanka that he hired on Fiverr. <laughs> oh, so he got, he got hustled. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes, yes. 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 Wow, that's, he must be a very smart cookie. Yeah, he, surprisingly, he does have a master's degree in uh, wow. whatever the fuck he called the study of Zoology. snakes. He's a yeah, it's, a, it's, it's like hepatology or something. It's specifically the study of... of uh, Who uh, hires a Sri Lankan <laughs> investigator on Fiverr? Everything he does <laughs> is from Fiverr. He He's admits hired that, everyone from Yeah, Fiverr. he admits not only this, there was something else he hired off uh, Fiverr, but he's doing this hit video on, on Margaret, and that's what we're waiting for, for him to put out. But to do this, he paid $100 on Fiverr to have the script written, he paid $100 on Fiverr to have a voice actor narrate it, and he's paying another $100 to have it professionally cut. So, okay, how much, what's like the, what's the average price for a power supply unit? It's like 50 bucks, isn't it? He, he paid he, 250 for the most expensive one he could find. Yeah, he bought a, a 1,200-watt gold-certified power supply Okay, unit. and he paid the Sri Lankan <laughs> private investigator for five or three grand to keep quiet, and then he spent $300. No, he didn't no, no, they, they, no, they, no, no, no. Yeah, he extor the guy yeah. said, if you don't pay me three grand, I'm going to tell her all the shady shit you've been trying to do to her. He didn't pay the three grand, and then he he told Margaret about it. Yeah. Oh well, at the very least, he spent more on the Fiverr. Oh video yeah, dude, no, than dude. he did yeah, on the yeah. power supply. He sunk right? so much money yeah. into this. Not only that, he knows I'm friends with Margaret, right, and have been for years. And so he's, you know, he's hung around our Discord forever. Tried to hung, hang around, our, you know, my stream and stuff. And then today he sent me a message that I'm gonna shut down this Discord if you don't do this and this. And so I just banned him from the Discord. Now he still wants. Wait, to why, is, why is he going after you? Did he? Did he? Well, give you some people were. Him? Look, no, nah, some people were. Well, he knows I talked to Margaret, but uh, it might he, have been me. Yeah, some people were fucking with him in the Discord, and he said, "Ralph, if you don't stop this." Again, I have very little desire to police the Discord anyway, because as you know, Jim, Discord is complete cancer, and I'm starting to think 
I should just delete the entire Discord. But um, so he's like, if you don't police this Discord, these people are fucking with me. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, message the the Discord admins or whatever and and try to get it banned. So I just ban him instead. So that's he couldn't handle the jokes. So yeah. do you guys also know that he used to uh, super chat into the Kumite? Yeah, yeah, he did fake super chats in Margaret's name to the Kumite. He also set up in. <laughs> He yeah. also set up an archive yeah, channel uh, with with the with the few videos of hers that he does have. He set up a Margaret McLennan archive channel, and according to Margaret, he also used to super chat into Baked Alaska streams, like flirting with Baked Alaska in her name. So, so he, no, he's, he's, he's like legit mad. He wants yeah. Yes. yeah, he's he's pretty much over a power thing player. is. <laughs> No, well, it's, well, not, it, well. it's also that, and he was a five dollar a month or five dollar video patron on Patreon. And whenever you, whenever you point out how illogical he is and how nonsensical it is, because I went at length to to say if you keep fucking with this chick and the people that you're you're hounding, like Jim and like Ralph, start to buy into the story, you realize that people are going to find your job because you've told people what your job is, and you might get fired again. Because he he was a uh, he was in the labs at, at some museum where he lives. And after people started telling them that he was stalking Margaret, he got uh, fired from that. But he still works for that same museum as a field researcher collecting venom from snakes. And I'm, I'm telling him, like, you know, you say this is your dream job, but everything you're doing is putting this at risk. Right. And he, 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 whenever you say that, it's like, well, you know what? It's the principle of the matter. It's the principle of the matter. I can do whatever I want, and it's completely justified because it's the principle of the matter. And that's that to me was like the 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 telltale sign that he was a, a legit creepy stalker. Because no matter how obvious the logical fallacy was, and no matter you know how hard you you are easily you explained it to him, he would always revert to it's the principle of the matter. So in his head, he has like rewired his brain to see this as the logical conclusion of, of what has happened regarding the Patreon and the, the gaming PC. Oh, so if, if she were to give him back the power supply unit or give him the money's worth, uh, the equivalent of whatever it cost, would that end it for him? Would that no. be enough? At one point, Josh no. asked him, like, if you give me the, if, if she gave you the old videos and just, you know, and he kind of seemed to say yes, but I don't believe that for a second because if you look back on his Twitter I history, he was, you know, he was very thirsty uh, for this woman. Josh and, uh, asked him if yeah. if she would stream without a face cam on. Would that be enough for you? And he said yes. Because Not only he that, wants her to sit there. Well, Margaret then, has an know, illness, so Margaret's if she would just sick sit there sometimes. With no camera, yeah. no audio, and just yeah, Overwatch he's, playing. He said, um, he said he would be he would be fine with that. He just wants her to sit there and stream for him, even without a mic, even if it was just her on her account playing the game with no face cam, no <laughs> mic, no interaction, he would be okay with that. And to me, that was like, so you don't even care about the content. You just want to force her to do something she doesn't want to do. And that's your satisfaction. Well, I've got to listen to the stream now. Now I have to hear yeah, it. Like, you should. <laughs> Are you sure he's yeah, not like, Are you sure it's not like a no, joke? No, it's not no, trolling, no, Jim. No, 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 look, look, no, I'll tell you for a thousand percent fact, it's not trolling. Because when I got out, you know, from my state sponsored vacation, I, I'd seen Kenny around before. Uh, but you know, again, I talked to Margaret a lot, and uh, we had been following this for months because he's been doing creepy shit for months and months, uh, even before the last few days where it finally came out into the open. He's been in the Discord, you know, trying to. He tried to get me to write a hit piece on her, which, of course, I'm not going to do because he's completely wrong. So and just, I, I want to make sure I'm really understanding this. His main gripe is the power supply unit was promised for more videos and she didn't do the videos. And that's yeah. why he's upset. Yeah, he's trying to say it's, it's not really a, scam. a power supply. It's the fact that he gave her money. So he feel the way, way he said it, he said that he is entitled to her videos, to her streaming. He wants her time and he wants her to do something for him. It doesn't matter how good it is, whatever she does. He just wants her to sit there and do something, a stream of her just fucking staring at a wall. He just wants her to do something. Was that, okay, I mean, like, it, it's weird because, I mean, I, I on one hand, I do get it. Like, if you give people money on the internet or if you buy them shit, you would expect them to do what they say they're going to do. I have a Patreon, right? So, and I get people that leave all the time. They're like, you're not, you're not doing enough videos. Oh, well, okay. I mean, that's, I totally get that, right? Uh, but on the other hand, it, this seems kind of like overkill for a power supply unit. 
like you know impersonating her and then throwing out super chats flirting yeah. with her and shit the, it's a little this, crazy. the total value of money that he spent on her he claims is less than like five hundred dollars he said before that it was above a thousand so well, I think yeah. yeah, so he's throwing good money. So God. even if you thought you were completely in the right, which I do not agree with that, but l- let's say you're, you know, you're Kenny and you're like, I'm completely in the right. What kind of person keeps kept throwing hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of dollars at a lost cause? And not only that, I mean, he has a Kiwi farm thread now. We're talking about it here on this stream. By the way, he he begged me for months to talk about it on the stream. So I mean, I, Ralph, this, this reminds me of there's a movie called Gotti. Um, I think Nicholson's in it. I can't remember. It's like from the nineties, but there's like this speech where they're talking about, um, what's the worst thing you can do to somebody. And it, it's something along the lines of you can wrong somebody and they'll get over it. But if you slight them, it never goes away. Cause it's always yeah. in their head, eating them away. And this sounds like a dude that feels slighted and doesn't want to let it go. I think, I think that's absolutely correct. Yeah. But yeah, oh, that's, power that's, supply the, that's the funny thing to me. Oh, the power supply. Yeah. Well, in in his mind, he would be able to justify it even if he never gave her a penny. You know, the the principle of the matter is is whatever the fuck he wants it to be. And even if you know, I, I the way he described it, I don't have all the information, but the way he described it, it's like, yeah, she did kind of renege on responsibilities regarding her country, her her relationship with her patrons. But you know, all you do when that happens is you withdraw your support and you maybe tell a couple people, you know, I'm I'm not going to support her anymore. You don't you don't and do this shit. There was a Even bunch of other in the right. He's but not in the right. So anymore. say somebody gave you, you something. How how long are you obligated to make videos? Though that's what I don't. Uh, and oh, again, no, I I asked him that, and he said a year. <laughs> well, he's look, entitled to a year worth of her uh, effort. I've, yeah, ta- I've talked to Margaret, and, and the main reason Kenny is- Jones, Honorable Judge Kenny Jones, being like you, you will be sentenced to one year on probation. Where you're, yeah, but look, the main reason video. she gives for for ceasing her activities was because this guy was being a fucking creep and just hounding her <laughs> everywhere. Yes. Yeah, well, and that's I, the reason she's done. Yeah, I don't know anything about this chick. I don't know if she's like sketchy. I don't know if she's legit. So I can't, well, I can't give like an opinion on that. Uh, all I, all I'm getting is like uh, his side of it, but. So he wants he wants a year's worth. So that's fifty two streams. <laughs> uh, so it's like, that works out to what five bucks an hour is about what he's he's. I guess her. so. About minimum, a little bit. I guess Just well, about. minimum wage is a little bit higher. Is, now, is, but she, yeah. does she still have a Patreon to do stuff, or did she shut that? No, down? No, she doesn't. She doesn't she's have a Patreon. Completely withdrawn it. She's active in one uh, like podcast type thing where she talks. Um, I think regarding like women and conservatism, or it's like a dating advice thing. I don't know what the fuck she does, but he she does do one thing as a co-host, but she has no Patreon activity. And that's because when uh, she got her computer, she had that medical issue and she stopped for a month and she was still doing like one, one thing out of her schedule. Uh, but by the end of that month, Kenny had harassed her so much that she didn't want to go back to it ever again. So I, I told him as much. I said, you know, you're the reason why she stopped because you harassed her so much when she was like, like shitting herself or well, shitting out her friend. Uh, but, you, but you said he doesn't even watch your shit really. So why does he care? Well, he's lying. after well after that after the month because she he liked her original schedule but when she went uh, and did this this new thing I don't know exactly what it is but as a co-host she, he's not interested in that but he's he says he's satisfied uh, with that live stream as being part of the live stream obligation but he also wants her to do several other auxiliary things to meet old obligations so it, you know you could sit here and, and write it out as what he wants but I, I doubt he has did, did he mention list. this when he gave her the computer parts was this did he say hey I'm going to give you a PSU to repair your computer but you have to do this or did he just say no. I want to give it to you as like is there a contract there's no fucking contract no, no, I, no, that, I'm, being, I'm straight like did he ever mention it at all in a post or anything or did he just say I want to do something nice for you because your computer broke yeah my understanding he, is he did he, not he, mention uh, that yeah. It, he, she put out like a, an Amazon wish list with like computer parts or something. And the idea was she couldn't do as much because her laptop couldn't like her shitty $100 Walmart laptop could not uh, do these videos or streams correctly. So the idea was, yes, if, if he, uh, they bought her a computer, she would live stream, but she, she does have the uh, Crohn's disease. And apparently after, after they got together and bought this for her, she had an extended stay in the uh, the hospital and was like on painkillers and shit because she was she was in. Well, uh, she has like they had to take out like half of her intestine or some shit. Like, yeah, she's she's very. The very front hole comment. She had a, a colon. She like she has her colon missing and she has yeah. to poop into a bag off the front of her body. Like yeah, yeah it's gross. But that's 
that's who Kenny Kenny wants to fuck that front hole so bad. I mean, he does this to a lot of ethos. He gives a shit ton of money, like thousands of dollars, to Brittany Venti. He donates to Sargon. Wait, what? Like, yeah, I like how Sargon was the second name on the list of ethos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he acts like one. I know he's. I know he's in Monday Mass Discord as well. So there was another thing where he he tried to roll up Monday Mass Discord against against me, which was pretty funny. After I mean, whole, you remember when like, Sargon wants to oh, show Sargon yeah. his snakes? Ralph, do you remember yeah. when Sargon was shit talking you during his D and D stream? Yeah, Kenny right, was the right. one who super ch- super chatted that to yeah. get him to shit talk. Yeah, you. he's constantly he constantly tries to start up shit. Uh, of course, you know I'm already starting shit between all these people, but. Uh, you know, he hangs around my Discord, and then he, he tries to go to others and, like, leak stuff. And, I mean, it's a public Discord, so really, I mean, it doesn't make any sense anyway, but... Yeah, that's you should, you should bring him on the kill stream, Ralph. I'd love he to wants to come on. Oh, he, he wants is to come scared. On. He no, is no. No, he I, asked me earlier today. Of course, I didn't think we'd get into this, but we're in our, what, f- I don't even know, four and a half hours now. Uh, I seventh didn't, hour now? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think we were going to get into it tonight. So I actually, you know, he messaged me and I said, yeah, I don't think we're going to get into it because I haven't had time to timestamp the stream and all this. Of course, here we are talking about it. But yeah. What he do you actually, go on stream with Jim? Because when someone sent him a fake tweet of Jim tweeting about he him, he shot his pants. No, and I don't yeah, know if you saw this. I just pulled it up on air. You know, his Twitter's protected now. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know if Jim saw this yesterday. Oh, you know, Jim's friend runs a certain Twitter account, a fan account uh, for, for Jim's uh, streams and stuff. And uh, I, I messaged the friend and let him let him know what was going on. And Kenny said, Ralph, please. Ralph, please. Let's avoid let's avoid involving Jim any further in this matter. Me and you both know you're leaving out a significant amount of context relating to this issue. Um, so I don't well, Ralph, know. I think I think Kenny might be right here. We do need the full context. Kenny, come on on. Are you are you willing? Come to on talk down, to, Kenny. Are you, are you willing to talk, look, look? I guess I listen, can message him right now. Listen to my conversation with him first, because I, I think you're going to get a lot of repeats in terms of what he says. So if you like, I went into this cold. I had no idea what his story was before he started telling me. So um, if you listen to that and kind of get some more backstory, you might be able, be able to, you know, pin him on more of what he says. Because uh, apparently he did gloss over quite a bit of uh, shit that he did to Margaret. All right, you gotta me- bring on a couple of people. Who, I uh, messaged him now. Uh-huh. We'll see. I, I don't know if he's gonna answer now. We might have to do it tomorrow. I don't know if you're willing to talk to him or not, Jim. But- well, did, did people wrangle snakes in the evening? <laughs> he just super chatted. Be- oh, hey, there he, he is. Just- did he really? Oh, he wants in. $5. He wants in. Yeah, uh, there you go. You guys hey, can Ralph, have your combo. If he goes oh, on. Can God. I bring on one or two people? All right. Well, let's. I'm here, Ralph. Let me in. I can't defend myself if you ban me for disc. Okay. Well, I don't have to let you back in. Oh, here Discord. we go. I, I uh, I'm going to grab a drink. This is going to be right, fun. Go ahead. I'm going to go grab one myself. But um, so Kenny. All right. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get some more here back. I guess I guess I could let him back in temporarily. You know, he threatened the Discord. That's why I banned him. Cause he's like, "Well, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this Discord banned." Ugh. So I was like, "Okay, fuck you, get out." That that's the only. Reason. And he's been fucking around for months, by the way. And I didn't ban him. But when he said that, I was like, "Okay, get out." You know what? Fuck you. Okay, so right. how about this? How about this? I'll, I, you know, I have the Hangout link, but I'm just gonna go ahead and revoke, revoke the Discord ban. Here's the Discord link. Ban him after the show. Yeah, we'll see. All right, Ralph, if you're going to bring Kenny on, can we please bring on Dr. Roxo? Because he said his name about seven times during the stream with Josh, and he is scared of, scared as shit of him. All right, well, let's get Kenny on Kenny first, on. and we'll see. Oh, it'll be funny. Well, of course it'll be funny. It was great in Metalocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there goes there goes the Discord link, Kenny. Go ahead and go ahead and rejoin and and we'll bring you in. Wow, what oh man, this show. This show has everything. You never know what you're gonna get on the kill stream. The kill stream. All right, let's see here. Let's see if he's joined. Well, Ralph, you're under a contractual obligation now to give at least an hour. <laughs> we've, we've worked the radar. All right, we're we're waiting on you, Kenny. Is that, let me make sure. Is that actually Kenny? Hold on, let's go to his channel. Is it full of Margaret videos? Yeah, I think that I think that actually is his channel. The real Kenny Jones is in the green room right now. Six six really? four eight. Yeah, really? yeah, that's him. Wow. It's really happening. All right. 
Let's do and it. Here we go. Kenny Jones, you're on the air on the kill stream. Hello, fellas. What's happening, man? What's Hello, up? Hello, Kenny. Uh, not, you know, not, nothing much, nothing much, you know, just, uh, just hit if you know, give, give my side, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to defend yourself when you're banned, you know? Well, look, I I, and I'll say this again and I'll say it to your face. I, I, I'm assuming you saw the stream since you super chatted it. And the reason I banned you is because Somebody, you came in there. Someone, t- someone sent me a, a message on Discord. See, I, see yeah, okay. what you understand is. Wait, Kenny, see, Kenny, 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 hold on. Let me finish what I was saying. The reason I banned you is because you came in the Patreon chat, which you do give on Patreon, which that's great. I appreciate. That doesn't mean I'm going to just let you do whatever. You came in the Patreon chat and you said, Ralph, if you don't do this and this and this and that, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to report you. you. Oh, you said somebody, you said somebody was using your dad's photo as a, as a, I uh, said someone is doxing my family. That's what you said. I didn't see the evidence of doxing. I didn't see the evidence. I I linked you to the evidence. I took screenshots of the evidence. All right. I'm just telling. And then you said, well, I'm going to message the Discord admins. And I said, okay, you're banned. I said, okay. Okay. I said, okay, you're banned. Anyway, you're here now. Oh, I'm here. I'm here now, but that was a, a kind of a massive injustice. You, you're telling not really, Jim not here, really. Uh, Kenny, I almost banned you like 15 times over the last. Two you, for what charges? What what rules did I break? Because break? you're fucking stalking <laughs> my friend. That's what the fucking charge no, was. Do I need a bigger charge friend. than that? Okay. I'm okay. Not well, that's what we're. Here. That's what we're here to talk about. Okay, we're here. I'm here. Okay. Well, go right ahead. Tell us why you're not. Because everything I've seen is that you are. I, I, last time I checked, you sh- I should have to prove my innocence. You should have to prove your guilt. Okay, so it's pretty yeah. obvious. Why do you so, have seven Dan Twitter accounts trying to tweet at this chick? To, pr- to prove what she's doing to people. To prove that she's why? cheated her patrons. Why are you well, stalking I her? her? I know I'm not real. stalking her. No wait, Kenny, let me let me ask you. Of you. Yeah, no. Look, let let me ask you, Kenny. You, you tweeted at Margaret at least three hundred times. Is that correct? Well, and, and the la- lifetime of, of since I've been following her? Yeah, I'm saying at least, by the way, it's probably closer to 500 or 700, but at least from, from my, from my uh, you know, amateur perusal, you you tweeted at her at least 300 times, correct? Man, I, I don't, I don't know how long, how many times I tweeted. I, I mean, I probably tweeted you probably 200 times myself. I don't know. Okay. So, I, I don't, I mean, I, I so let, let me, let me continue. Side. All right. Okay. All right. You don't, you don't necessarily want to. You're saying that's that's fair though. That's that's not an exaggeration. That's probably I, fair. I have I have no idea. I, I don't. Let count me my ask tweets. you. Do you? So you're saying you don't know? You don't know if that's fair or not? I I, I don't know. I can okay. honestly say I don't okay. know. You do not recall. Okay. Do you um, think that Margaret wants contact with you? Do you think no, she wait, wants? Let me continue. Hold on. Hold on. I I want to I want to continue. I, I've been involved with this quite a long time. Believe it or not. Um. So you you were a Patreon supporter of Margaret, correct? That's right. Okay. So you, um, how much did you get per month? About five, five dollars, um, per video. It wasn't, it wasn't per month for most. Okay. So my, my, yeah, mine set up per month, not per video. Obviously I do 20 streams per month. That would be a little, that'd be a little Jewy even for me. So, um, (laughs) so I have mine on per month, but hers was on per video. How many videos do you estimate she did per month? Um, about two, two to three, possibly. I would so say. So you're saying you're ten to fifteen dollars in the hole per month, right? Potentially. Okay. So I wouldn't say I wouldn't say in the hole because, like I well, said, well, I it, mean, it's, uh, it's yeah, I, I video, just that's a figure right? of speech, right? You were ten to fifteen dollars in in into support. Well, actually, that. I want to ask one thing, and then I'll let you guys get back to it. Her Patreon uh-huh. is it set up per month or per video? It yeah. was set for a video, but then when she stopped doing content. Um, surprisingly, she set up per month, so she didn't have to do any work to do to take money from people. All right, and how long after she switched it to per month were you still a supporter? I wasn't a supporter after that. So it didn't. Have, okay, so you were only paying per video. So you paid for what you got at that point. Yes, but you have to understand wh- wh- I, I, every video that if people patrons have paid for has been taken down. Right. So every video that the Patreons have supported, they cannot watch. They cannot access. They had no access to. And now, that's one issue I have. A, I, that's me, one problem I have okay. an issue with. But let me ask you, you watched those videos when they first came out. 
Yeah, I swear okay. did, yeah. Okay, but you don't own the copyright of those. I mean, the person who put those videos out still own those videos. It doesn't mean that you have the right to them in perpetuity. I never said I did. Well, you seem to be angry about it right now. That's why I'm asking. Uh, I'm, I'm, ang- I'm angry because, like, like I said, if somebody sponsors content, they should have the right to at least view the content they sponsor. They should have the right to access. But you, but you, are, but you, you have right it. to access that content. You already viewed it. <laughs> I, how do you know? I, I may, you I may have missed you one. What do you mean? You, know, you just you said just, you watched all of them. I, yeah. I, I mean, look, I'm not. I I make mistakes. I could have missed one video. <laughs> but and I'm, even I'm I, going I, by what you said, even, Kenny. Yeah, I understand you're going by what I said. All right, but I'm trying That's to explain all I can go by. That, that you know it's possible I've missed one. It's possible that the okay. other individuals have well, missed. Whose five. fault is that? Whose fault is you that? Know? Is that is that hers or yours? It's hers once she take down all the videos. If her, she her obligation. Them, would you watch them? I beg your pardon. If you re-uploaded them, <laughs> would you watch them? That's irrelevant. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You're very upset that you haven't gotten to see maybe one or two videos, but you don't know if you'd watch them or not. It's the principle of thing. Here we go back to the principle of thing again. <sighs> but she fulfilled her obligation, though. She uploaded the videos, <laughs> and and she did not access to the videos. As they well. were up as they were up in the first place, though, and you. Like, what, what do you mean the access? Do they have to be up forever? Or there was no agreement they, where they, they had to be up forever? No, no. I mean, uh, like, it's, it's Did you it's sign a contract when you, when you donated on her Patreon? Was there something that you... I didn't realize it was contracts you had to sign on Patreon. Okay, but the, there is no videos. Can you still, but, but you still but, are you still obligated? But to But there's no Patreon statement support. saying these it's videos great. are going to be up forever. There's I'm going to make these videos. They were made. You saw them, and they're not there there's anymore. There's a reason, then, Ralph. There's there's there's, there's, a, there's a certain limitation here. I mean, yeah. let's not let's not pretend that you know you you put the video for five seconds and take it down. Well, that's, that's not the case. I mean, they were up longer than. But that. how do? You, uh, but I'm just saying that there's you know there's the bounds of reason here that that you're you're annoying. You know. Okay, so all right, let's just say, and again, we'll get into a little bit deeper the stuff we've been talking about. Let's just say everything you think and believe is absolutely one hundred percent true. What in the world? Why is this worth it? You see, you know, you're here over four thousand people still uh, watching this show. Why would you continue with this autistic witch hunt? Like it makes no sense. Because I want to clear my name. I, I'm I'm sick and tired of people lying about me. But you were already on I'm, this. I'm no, but wait, but wait, you I'm were already on this witch hunt even before people started fucking with you. The reason they started fucking with you is because you kept going with this dumb shit. No, people people was calling me a stalker long long before you. I even asked you for help because you were doing stalking. You know, do you know? Shit. Do you know? Do you know why they call me a stalker? Because you're stalking. stalking. Yeah, but go ahead. No, I'm not. But no, his thing. Like, if if a, a stalker typically follows the individual on on every available platform, typically speaking, I I don't I don't follow her on on her live streams. I don't I don't watch her periscopes. All right, and you know, some, you see, what I'm saying, like, I don't you don't see me posting. Okay, on, on so her you Instagram. didn't send me a message when she came on during the Medicare Masterson show for ten minutes and said, "Oh, it's great to see Margaret back on live streams again." You didn't send me that message. Yeah. But that that was a kill stream, Ralph. I, but I you watched the kill stream. You, you did send me that, though, correct? Yeah, I I, I did send you, send you that. Yeah, yeah, I did watch the kill stream. I guess you're right. I did watch the kill stream. I am a Patreon supporter, so I guess I did watch the kill stream. I get, you know, I mean, I'm guilty. What can I say? Okay, so okay, by your logic, you know, Ralph takes down his streams. Do you feel that your Patreon donation to him is being violated by him taking down his streams? He also re-uploads them. Somewhere else, all the time. Not if he can't. So if he can't, then that you know, I don't expect him to do the impossible. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, you know, Kenny, are you still interested in Margaret's content? Do you still watch her stuff? Do I, I can't watch her stuff. She's taking it down. But she makes new content. She, She's still. Yeah, she, no, I don't. I don't watch. I don't watch that content. So why did it? Why did when a couple of people asked you that she was talking about you in her last stream, you said no, she wasn't. I watched it. How would you know that she didn't talk about you if you're not watching her content still? 
because I jumped over there and, and seeing what she was she was. Oh, so you are you posting. are still watching her stuff. When somebody when someone messaged when somebody messaged me and says that Margaret's talking talking about you and the previous week oh, okay. says I'm a serial killer. Yeah, I do I do jump over there to see what she's talking about. Now, by yes. the way, okay, so you're talking about when she she joked about you being a serial killer. Joked. Well, she did, but you you had fucked with her for months and months, and she said, oh, well, look at these dead bodies in this guy's hometown. He's creepy as fuck. I mean, mean, what what do you... I I never accused her of doing anything she didn't do. Man, do you... I mean, how is this this equivalent to accusing me of being a serial killer? She didn't say how right you were. She didn't say you. She did it as close as legally possible. She didn't say it was you, though. You're the one that stepped up to the plate and said... I was the you. only person that challenged her to the Kumite. <laughs> it's going to be taking that mantle upon yourself. By the way, you also sent her an email. Let me, let me go ahead. Okay, and, you know, be, before you get to the email, go ahead, go ahead. Are, are we sure this isn't a troll? You're not no, fucking no, Jim, no, it's 1,000% not a troll. I know Margaret. You're uh, sure he gave her money and he gave her PSU. I this, swear is to God. Just a, this is a laugh. This, We're not having This a, is 100%. Uh, like no, it's for not. For over two years now. I wish I could say this was a laugh. It's not. It's 100% true. This is now, exactly how he always Now, is. there was a caller who called in. Let me say this. There was a caller who called in on Friday acting like Kenny. That was not Kenny. This is absolutely Kenny, and this is a yeah. real issue, and he's been bugging me about it for months to talk about it. So yes, this is absolutely. And real. Margaret backs up what you what, you, uh, you brought it up. You 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 the one who woke this up again, Ralph. Let's not pretend me? that I woke this up. Yes, you the one that came out out of blue, out of blue the other day, and called me a stalker for no reason. No, you, you okay. Woke, so you know who woke it up? You know who woke stick. it up? You getting recorded and getting live streamed by the owner of Kiwi Farms. Who goes into a private chat with the this owner of Kiwi what Farms? What even happened, Ralph? No, I have I have a screenshot. I have screenshots, Ralph. He has the evidence. I, I got screenshots, <laughs> Ralph. Let me read no, this I take email. To that. I usually keep things confidential. It's just that in Kenny's case, I couldn't. Hey, do Kenny, it. Kenny's let, Kenny's let me face. let me read sure. this. Let me read this email that you sent to Margaret. Uh, this is from the Margaret McLennan. Let me read this. This is from the Margaret McLennan fan channel. Margaret, this is a ridiculous and unreasonable way to treat a channel dedicated to letting your fan base see your videos again. All credit was given to you both in the description of every video and in the about page of the channel. It also clearly states, it also clearly says none of the videos on this channel have been monetized. You and I both know it's unethical to deny the sponsors of your videos the right to see the very video they made possible. This is an official YouTube message, so I know you have seen it. I swear under penalty of perjury that I have a good faith belief that the material was removed due to a mistake or misidentification of the material to be removed or disabled. I consent to the jurisdiction of the federal district court for the district in which my address is located or if my address is outside the United States, the judicial district in which YouTube is located and will accept no. service of process from the claimant. And then you sign it. Kenny Jones, and your address is originally there. I blocked that out on the on the message, but uh, you did send I, that. I appreciate clear. it. You did that's send a that. Counter uh, yeah, that's a counter-DMCA. You're trying to force her to court. Yeah. yeah. For, see, she's, the one, she's the one sent it. I just counted it. I wouldn't put I wouldn't put that under me sending her email because that's a response. I had to respond to that. She it's wanted not, you to take down the videos that you re-uploaded I'm, without I'm not, permission, it, it, without it's, it's commentary, an archive. and it's you try to archive. force her. That's 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 still not. That's, well, that's she, really if great. Wants to, if she wants to take me to court, I'm willing to go. Well, that's the thing because you're so <laughs> desperate to see her. You would love to see her even in court. Don't you think that's kind of creepy? Don't you think that's you're a sick, stalker kind of thing? You're you're sick, man. No, you're, you're so sick. desperate to be near this woman. You don't even care if it's in I, court. I you're don't. You're like I don't care. I don't care about Margaret. I told you. I thou, I've told you already. And that everything the last you stream, said that is, is not. Is motive, I don't. That. I don't. I don't. I, I, look, I'm not motivated by that. I've been trying I to explain that to you guys. I don't care what you think. I think everybody thinks you are because Russell Greer sued Taylor Swift, and that was the reason why he was so desperate. I have no idea who that is. It, now let, let me ask you, Kenny. Kenny, oh, Kenny yeah, let me ask you, you, Kenny. You, you signed it. You you hired a private investigator to look into Margaret, correct? That's right. Yeah, I did. Now, under you know what galaxy would that be a reasonable response to to your beef here? 
what what galaxy? Well, let's see. Like, why is that? Well, Most people just say, "All right, I lost a few bucks. Whatever." Even if you, even taking because I did just lose a few bucks when she when she went out and she implied alluded. Excuse me. When she alluded to me being a seal killer, we I, I explained to now, you how you I lost, hired the how, private how investigator. Bef- you hired the private investigator before then. Is my is my understanding? W- well, that's wrong. Well, I would, I would just, I would dis- disagree with that. I think, I think you hired it before then. Now, okay, but we can agree to disagree on that. Uh, you did hire a private investigator. Yeah, yeah, because I was, I was prepared, I was prepared yeah. for a particular pati- okay. lawsuit. And how you much got, did you pay for you, this? Wait, yeah, okay, yeah. How much did you pay for it? How much did you pay for this Fiverr private investigator? That's irrelevant. It was. Well, was, the, anyway, the, the, you're saying that you lost a, uh, you didn't, you lost some money. Yeah, I lost money, money because I, I didn't get, the, I didn't, I was suspended from work without pay for three months. Okay, now so because l- let money. me say because yeah, of all this, sure because of all this, it's almost, you, like, it's almost as if it's warranted of a lawsuit. No, but look, beca- because of this whole autistic journey, you were suspended from work. Correct. Uh, I suppose so. If not fired from work, you're trying to say you have a new job. No, whatever. It, it fucked up. It fucked with your work uh, history. Wait, how did how did he lose his job? When he was stalking her and uh, the Kumite thing happened, they contacted his the museum he worked at and they filed complaints. And they had a zero tolerance policy for that kind of stuff. So we did get dismissed, but they rehired him as an independent contractor. I think to collect stink. How did so they, they find his, uh, Okay, how did they find his work though? Well, that's not how it happened. He's not that smooth. Jim. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's amazing <laughs> how many times I've there. told this story. And, and yet not a single one of these individuals that's in this chat can get a, a single sentence right. It's amazing. Josh, the, the <laughs> man of Kiwi Farms can get one damn sentence right. Hey, give, me the, give me the evidence. Well, I got your, your parents' docs right. Yeah, you, you docs my parents. Good job. I mean, c- congratulations. Good job, Thanks. Josh. Good work. Okay, so what's right then? What What do you mean? What's well? I guess my pam my pam stocks is right, and I can't deny that. No, I mean you said you, you know? said that I had to, I had to get my I had to, to today. I went to go pick up my mother, and and, and me, I took her back to my house. Yeah, right? well, I don't so, care about that. I, look, that's not my bag. But, but what I'm saying is, what what's wrong about like? I, Anyway, my, my what, point was you, you put your job, you put your career in jeopardy over sending a power supply unit to a girl on the internet. That's that's uh-huh. you, you put your whole life in jeopardy over some dumb shit. And if you listen it, it to the would, stream, it, let me let would, me finish. Let me would. finish. Ju- let me finish. And I'll let you finish. You put your whole life in jeopardy over the dumbest of shit ever. And if you listen to the stream with you and Josh just the other day, you're fully willing to continue to just you know, tank your entire life over the dumbest of shit. I'm willing to make that last video and end it all. Yes, you're right. End it all. How? I make fun of you for making the video. I don't. I don't care. Some people make fun of me. Clearly, you say I don't, that, but I'm, you're I'm, on I'm here, here trying to defend I'm, yourself I'm, again. I'm here with with the, the you know the, the biggest bully on the internet. Clearly, I don't care if people make fun of me. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Who's the biggest bully on the internet? Hey, Mister Medica is the coolest guy on the internet, from what I hear. He's a you know he's the man with a plan. Right, so I'm just trying to explain. I don't, I don't care if people make fun of me. <laughs> I like Jim's stunned silence. <laughs> he won't even approach that. I just I, I, I continue I mean, on with your story. Yeah, I'm curious, boys. Keep going. I'm, 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 I'm pretty much done. I mean, I don't know what say else say about it. I don't see the thing about it is, is me giving someone a PSU certain, it certain, you know, connect to me losing certain be a risk of me losing my job. I don't. I don't. Yeah, but that's not all yet. that happened, Kenny. There's about 500 steps of additional retardation between you giving her a PSU and you risking Gosh, your job. You, you're not. You don't even. You, 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 you're brand new in this issue. It was a you, gift. What do you, what do you expect? So, so they stopped making videos. Like, it, look, the on, on Margaret's wish list. Okay, Margaret had a wish list mm-hmm. at one time. Yeah. Okay, on Margaret's wish list when she was building her computer. It clearly said that these components that you that was being bought will be used to help make help, help her make content, video, get videos, live streaming, and playing with her fan base. Okay, Th- that was the three things that were listed on her wish list. 
All right. So so that that was what I was you know, that that was what the, the parts were going for. Right. There, there was no misunderstanding that the components were being used, going to be going to be used for that for that reason. You see, you see what I'm saying? So. So at the end of the day, I don't I don't like I don't, I'm not under the impression that that's all she's going to use it for. Right. I had I mean, I'm, I, I can understand she's going to use it for writing work. I can understand she can use it for her, you know, playing pinball for all I know. Right. But all, but when she says that these are the three things that I want to use this computer for. And people donate those components for that purpose and she doesn't use it for that purpose. I have an issue with that. Okay, you're allowed to have an issue with that. It's not nobody's arguing that. Nobody gives a shit. It's everything else that you've done that makes you look like a fucking loser, Kenny. How do you not get this by now? It's only been explained to you like twenty fucking times. Well, I, I mean, what what exactly have I done to Margaret again? You Kenny, stalked when, her for a year, Kenny. When you hired that private investigator, did you try to find her address and phone number? Yeah, so I can get to my lawyer. Yes. So you don't think it's stalking, trying, paying people to find someone's address and phone number, and then surprising, strangely enough, right after you do this, she receives a bunch of, you know, phone calls with your voice and a bunch of other. That's a lie. That's a lie. It can't. It can't be my voice because I've never called her. Go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, I mean, if if Margaret, if Margaret McLennan. Has has evidence. That it's my voice. I mean, you you would think that she would she would have recorded. I'm telling you, like, there's no way in the world that Morgan McLennan wouldn't have said that recording. T- she would have put on Twitter. The phone she would have put me. She would have put me on blast, my man. She yeah, put me on blast. She thinks that she would just sit there with a the phone recorder, but before every phone call she ever. When made. if she suspected that it's it's me, and, and the know, same person is calling her, yes, if yes, she's she a would. woman and she's afraid she's getting stalked, she's not going to put you on blast because every time she mentions your fucking name, you, you put me on blast. Another year of crusade against her. She's put me on blast. It's not like she hasn't and done how did already. That turn out because now you're fucking trying to find out where she lives. So the best thing she could do is completely fucking ignore you, which she has done since since she made that comment regarding the Kumite thing. And she's completely ignoring you. She wants and to by the way, this let's keep this in weirdo. mind. Kenny, you precipitated that. You sent fake super chats in her name to the Kumite. One you made time. that you made it that happen. Okay, it doesn't matter. It wasn't the Kumite. Okay, you made that happen. You sent fake super chats in her name. It doesn't matter what stream it was. You made that happen. So you're acting she like oh same, she, she you're acting thing like she just Luma. did that out of nowhere. You're the one that fucking she precipitated did the same thing that. Law, she did the same thing to Law Luma, bro. Okay, so don't don't put out fake super chats in somebody else's name, and maybe you won't get slapped down. You did that to yourself. What do you mean? What maybe I won't get slapped down? She did the same thing to Law Luma. I don't have any evidence or knowledge of that. I no. I, I I do. Can matter, I do all of the evidence. <laughs> I do. Can I just say, can I, I just I'm say, like, trying to say that you're not a stalker, but now you're sitting here and saying that you have evidence of a super chat that you say is Margaret pretending to be no, Laura. Do like, you, you realize how everybody chat. sees that? You, I didn't say it was a super chat. She posted, she posted evidence of her um, impersonating Laura Luma and donating to a charity on her website. Which the page is now taken down because you're gonna try to get rid of the evidence of it. But I took a screenshot of it. <laughs> Do you feel okay? But that my point still stands though. Like you, you see how this looks to literally everybody else that's watching this and listening to this right now. Now, can you see the stream chat? Can you see what they're saying? I don't, about you, I don't, I'm not, I don't care about stream, stream chat. You obviously do care about your reputation. You're all peers, and I'm going to protect my reputation. Like, don't I don't, I don't, I don't care, care about stream, I don't care about stream chat. Who are you trying to protect your reputation from them? Why would I you mean, come on here if you don't care about the people who watch the show, Kenny? I, 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 I don't know. I guess, I guess you have a point there to a, to a certain degree. However, I just because just because I, I care in general about what people on the internet think of me because you know I, I'm I'm sick of I'm sick of t- I don't want my parents to be drug into this right I don't want to be some kind of crusade, crusade so why don't you just for, stop for, why don't I just stop yeah I, I mean how was it, how was I supposed to know that that this crusade would be going against me for doing absolutely nothing wrong I specifically warned you what would happen 
it happened, Joss, because you live streamed it. It happened because I was trying to talk to you reasonably, and you couldn't. You live streamed the video, Josh. It happened before that, you Kenny. Been we were, reasonable in it. No one doxed me before that. No, Kenny, that was out there before that. Half a dozen people were telling you you're going to lose your job. Your parents are going to. You're going to. You're going to get your house doxed. You're going to get your parents doxed. You're going to lose everything. You're going to end up like this if you don't stop doing this. And you kept on doing it, and look where you are. Yeah, you're yeah, delusional. Yeah, yeah. And it's you're, like you're, you're you're blinded when, you, when I told your you autism. when I told you that the live stream was happening. What did you do? Did you say, "Oh, well, this is bad. I should probably bow out of here"? And, and oh, just, well, you mean you mean you mean hop off so you can say, "Oh, he's got something something to hide." He had he he no. ran away. Okay, even if that's, even exactly, if that's exactly what you would say. Live stream. Even if you didn't abandon it, what did you do when you got called out? You said, "Well, that's fine. I, I didn't say anything that I wouldn't have said in public, anyways." And right. I don't care if Jim makes a video on me. So uh, that's you, exactly you right. Ask for it. I, well, you you asked me a theoretical question, right? You asked. You said, "What well, if Ralph made a video? What if Jim he made a reaching out?" Well, I mean, I'm sure there's, there's as ethical as you are, so. I might give him a check out, you know. Yeah, he you, weren't you saying that him. that Ralph would back you up? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't know. I'm not getting a, I'm not getting to read one way or the other right now. I'll be honest with you. I mean, it, you know, Kenny. Uh, let's say you're legit and you're not fucking around and trolling. He's not. You got you got hustled by. I a guarantee chick on, you, he's not. You got hustled by a chick on the internet for some cash. You're upset about it, and then he tried getting uh you know getting back at her, and that cost you your job. Like what? Uh, how far down the rabbit hole are you gonna go? Like you're gonna end up locked up in prison before See, you get your vengeance on this, or like what? What's the cost to you for this? But and with the, the my last my last step was just gonna make the video, man. I was just gonna make the make the video, put the, some of the, the evidence I had had. Did you say the King Jong song? But, but, but instead, but instead. You- I mean, here, here's the thing I don't get. Like, okay, so you were mad before, right? I get that. Uh, you paid money, you didn't get what you want. All right, whatever. Um, but you're saying now, like, okay, well, this chick cost me my job. So why would you be satisfied with just releasing a video at that point? If because, you got I, that's all, because that's all I, that's all I can do. But you've been pursuing this, this Patreon shit or the video thing for like a year, yeah. right? You put that much energy into it. And then you got fired. And so it just got, video is going to be suspended. a satisfaction. Well, oh, suspended, fired, whatever. I mean, but just a video is going to be satisfactory enough. If somebody got my yeah. ass fired, I'd probably, I'd probably want blood, right? Like, so you're just going to walk away after you put up a Fiverr video. Yep. <sighs> okay. <laughs> all I want, all I want at, at the end of the day, all, all I want is is the truth to be out there. That's it. You've already, but you've got you to tell you your story. You know what I'm saying? So I, I want the truth to be out there with, with the evidence I have displayed alongside it. So, so at, at the very least, at the, at the very least, there's a video out there that can that can give my side with, with some content. And, and what what is the video going to what is the video going to say? I mean, like, what are the key? It's points going to give. Show? It's going to it's going to give the story of the Patreon um, Patreon. It's going to give the story about you know. How, how how it began, how it how it ended, why it was you know why it was what we thought was shady, why we think we we we, we owe content, why we think you know it was, it was wrong for her to take it down, you know why you know and so on and so forth, right? So it's, it's, who's it's uh, who, just, it's Kenny? Just, Kenny, who's we? It's the son of Patreon supporters. So who's there are other people. Me? There are other people that went into this with you then to make the video. Well, yeah, they they can help contribute to it. No, they I'm asking. Did, they, did, they, help? They? did yes. they help, or is this all just you? They help. They help with some of the ideas. So other people have contributed to this project. Yes, they did. They were a, patrons of hers. Yeah. A few, a few of her former patrons. Yes, they, they yes they did. Okay, all right. I'm just. I I don't know anything about any of this shit. So I'm just asking. Did they contribute monetarily or? Yeah, multiple people bought PC parts with them. Most of them have stopped. Now caring. again, yeah, that's what I'm asking. Is that was the contribution the parts originally? Or are you talking about they've contributed to your autistic quest quest since? My understanding is that no one has besides you. No, uh, I mean, I, what what's the question again? I'm saying did you're talking about their con- contribution? Was it you know the parts originally, or was it post haste? You know after 
No, mm-hmm. it's it's. It, I thought Jim was asking about just the the video part. Yes, I mean they help. They they are they are they are, they were assist, they assisted me with a video, right? Okay. So they so that got this. There's at least two. Who are these people? Who are these people? That, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to name one them. of them. Is on the um, the live stream that I published. I don't know who the others are. I think he's the only one who cares, and I don't think he cares anymore either. Uh huh. All right. Now um, let me ask you. Let me ask you, all Kenny. Because Kenny, we could go. Look, Kenny, we could go. We could go forever. L- let me ask you this: um, Who exactly is going to care about your video in the first place? So Me. Margaret has no more crowdfunding. She has no Patreon. She has no any of that. So, w- what exactly is this going to accomplish? It's going to be closure, and it's going to and it's going to clear my name for at least some of these accusations. It's not going to clear your name regarding being a stalker. Call me what you want to. I, it's irrelevant to me. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't need your permission. You're a stalker, and this is going to make you look like an even creepier stalker. Yeah, you know? I, don't, I don't really think it's going to turn out how you want. As a matter of fact, I don't think it has already. It just it just seems stupid to me. E- even if you accept everything you're saying, which I don't, but just say, okay, you're 1,000% right. It just seems like it's been a, um, a massive loss. Uh, yeah. Um, let, let, let me, let me try to try to explain, um, mm. a lot of you guys, it's been probably a, pretty, a decent long time since you, you've been the, the underdogs, um, against a, a superior, um, uh, media personality or, or public figure, however you want to call it. Right. So if, if I would have went out there a few, a few, you know, when it first, first began and tried to expose Margaret, I only I only have two hundred some followers to, in, in comparison to seven hundred and some thousand, right? So if I just went ahead, this she twi- doesn't made, have seven hundred thousand. She has like uh, seventeen thousand. Seventeen thousand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah she has seventeen thousand. Right. If I went out there and made my little tweet, to, you know, only only two hundred and some people maximum would hear it. And let's be face it, majority of those people are inactive. Right. The only the only alternative for for me. Would be posting underneath her comments, so that the, so her fan base would see. Well, that's what you, know, you did. Yeah, and that's exactly, and that's what I did, right? The alternative would be to go play with your fucking snakes and just forget about this. No, that's I'm not. No, at the time I thought there was is a possibility <laughs> of prov- proving proving my um my point, right? Uh, at the uh, time there was a Patreon still open. At times she was still charging money. All right, right, Kenny, 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 I'm going to give you the final word because I'm I'm starting to get like just I've heard you talk about this for months and we just had you for like 45 minutes and just just go ahead. I'll I'll give you the final word. I'm a generous I'm a generous man. Just go ahead. I'll give you the final word. I I actually I just I have a final question. Okay, if you'd rather make it a question, that's fine. Yeah. Um, if if you don't mind, what what has what what make why are you so defensive all this time protecting Margaret so much? What well, what I, don't, I wouldn't say that I protected her. I mean, you're, you're here, you're here oh, writing on the yes. stream. You know, you you have you have you have protected her like a super white knight for Is good that long right? Time. Is that right? A month. I a mean, month. if you're asking, if you're asking if she's a friend of mine, and do I believe the things she said about you? Yes, and yes. Um, without sorry. proof, without evidence. Well, there's plenty of because proof, when I asked you for evidence. evidence, you didn't give me none. There's you plenty said, of evidence for these spoofing a, of phone you just calls. You said he's a stalker, and that was it. You didn't. You didn't well, offer any you've evidence. Clearly, been stalking her. I mean, it's not even a question. I mean, there's all the stuff she sent me personally, and then you have people on the stream. You have the stream that you did with Josh, where you talk about hiring a private fucking investigator over a power unit that you sent to some woman on the internet. How no, fucking that, crazy is that? You're fucking crazy, th- Kenny. You're crazy. That's not why Kenny, I hired a private investigator. Think about what you're doing. Your own fucking job just almost got fucking xed out. What, what are you doing why right I now? Hired a private you're private stupid. Bro. What are you doing? Your God. whole life life is being ruined over a fucking power unit and a Patreon donation. How fucking stupid are you? No, Ralph, no. Yeah, you're you're fucking ignorant. What else can I tell you? You're a fucking dumbass. 
You a fool for believing that. For believing okay, that's well, why I did it. I can just look at your life in ruins. Uh, I can see your, your family, uh, that's their not whole history up on I, TV is, farms. That's not I can why see. I hired a private detective, Ralph. Okay, all right. Well, that's look, just, just keep it. it going. Look, just keep it going. I mean, look, it's just going to give more lives. I mean, fine, if you don't want to listen to reason. I'm not the only one who said this. Anybody who looks at this says, well, Kenny, you're being a dumbass. I've told you this for months. You're continuing to do it. Okay, we'll keep doing it. Okay, I, I'm not. I'm not planning on keeping on doing it. Okay, like I said, I'm well, making a video and I'll be the end of it. Okay, well, just do whatever you want to do. I, I think you're an idiot. It's, it's been, it's been good talking to you. It's, I, I appreciate you guys having me on and giving me a chance to speak out and defend myself. All right, I appreciate it. All right, thank All right. you, Kenny. Right. Appreciate Later on, guys. Judith. Tell Bye -bye. Judith I said hi. All right, Negro Joe, thank you as well. I'm gonna start clearing it, Josh. Oh, real quick, yes, uh, Jim, did you invite me onto a stream or something? I haven't watched the latest one, but 50 people PM me asking about a stream. Uh, yeah, they brought up, um, I was doing the furry thing uh, over the weekend, and people brought up uh, some site called 621 or something like that, and Ink Bunny and shit yeah, like that. That's more cut. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they uh, and I know you've talked about this shit before, and I was going to give it like another half an hour before I got into the skeptic stuff. Uh, but I don't know this shit, so I was going to ask if you wanted to come on and talk about it because they're like, yeah, the owners and people involved are into some fucked up shit. Yeah, well, was that for that stream, or did you want me on like next ne week? next week? I also have somebody who uh, apparently worked at or knows the people that run Bad Dragon that has information about shit Ooh. that's going on there. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're they're all dirty. All the people who own the big websites and the big companies and the furry fandom all have dirt and stuff. And I'm asking about it. So if you want to like email me a list of things you want to talk about, I can do some digging over the week. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so it'd be uh, Saturday at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern. So if okay. you're up for it, do you have my email? Uh, no, I don't think I do actually. It's just no, like if we firm send that. Okay, well, that works. All right, yep. thank you, thank you, Josh. I appreciate it. Medicare Rice, still here. Uh, final thoughts on uh, DeFranco? Uh, anything like that? Anything that we talked about? Uh, I don't know if you saw the part where. Well, oh no, DeFranco's dirty as shit. Are we all? I mean, like everybody knows that, right? I mean, I would think they know it by this point, but. Oh no! Yeah, no. Yeah, my part, my company partnered with them. Okay, well, we were involved in the <laughs> advertising. Let's talk about the investment because that'll probably be the video next week. Uh, obviously, mm -hmm. there there's some financial ties and business ties going on here. Uh, and you know, from what I heard, somebody said Boogie lied apparently about uh, what he knew in regards to this. So, yeah, he was yeah, he was he was very inconsistent with the things he said on this stream versus this video today. Now he did say that he was going to donate all his profits to charity. So I, I don't know, and he and he wasn't he he kind of he kind of tried to have it both ways. He said Better Help's good, and they helped no, it's me. Not, it's yeah, not good. It's I not don't good. Think so. yeah. Somebody did the math. What was it? Um, they claim to help like millions of people, but they only got like 2000 therapists. So that works out to like 140,000 fucking sessions of therapist. Yeah. There's, they said 3 million plus uh, people helped and there's only 2,200. Oh, okay. So an average therapy session goes for an hour. How long has the website been open? Because I can guarantee you one individual therapist, let alone 2000 of them haven't done like a 14,000 fucking sessions a person. So the website's been up since 2013. Okay. Well, I mean, what's the, Okay. So five years. So if they work 24 hours a day, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just, let me pull out my calculator. Let's see if we had a therapist working 24 hours a day, if they could hit that magic fucking number that they're going, oh, I fucking hate this thing. So 2013? Yeah. So it's what, five years times 365 yep. times uh, 24. What do you get? 43,800. So they were working. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't think the therapists were working. That yeah, their whole life was dedicated to fucking uh, better help. Bullshit. Um, yeah, no. This I, see, this is uh, when we talked. Like, people, I, I heard you guys talk. Well, it's a pyramid scheme. No, I really do believe it's a Ponzi scheme. Um, I think Fra DeFranco has financial ties to this company. I think uh, people put money into this company. I think they shilled it hard to get as much capital as they could right away and that the big payoff is going to be selling the data and then everybody's going to basically pull out, take what they can and disperse the company. Well, the reason I think it's a pyramid scheme is there's other 
corporations that are, you know, part of the referral link. If you look at H3, H3, he's got a different referral link. Let me find what it is exactly. I tweeted it out. It's not just one. Um, so it's a little weird. I, I think there's a bunch of companies. So basically, BetterHelp is at the top, and right below it is um, DeFranco's company, but then there's a bunch of other ones. Well, every scam has a mark. So, I mean, they, you know, I, I just think DeFranco is closer to the top of this. That's yeah, my gut feeling right. than uh, Ethan or any of the other people that are fucking involved in it. Um, but it's scummy, right? Like, I mean, you're, you're, you're using depression and mental illness to sucker people and then take their data and their private information, deliver a bad service, and then sell it off for other purposes, training AI bots or working in advertising or marketing. And your big ad campaign is tied into World Mental Health Day. And you're going to try to pretend you don't know what's going on, like you're oblivious to it, like the money handlers and the people that work for you, who obviously do work for you, don't look in the background of this shit. You're not an idiot. DeFranco's worth 8 to $25 million. He's got people that look out for him. So I don't, I don't believe for one second that they're unaware of what these companies or the individuals running these companies are trying to do he's not going to put his brand into something that he doesn't feel he's secure in doing yeah the one that the other referral um is influencer logic influence logic that's it and ceo is different and everything what is it with these fucking youtubers fucking us all over <laughs> what is it why well, the, the, the skeptics shackles. yeah the skeptics have to get us censored and defranco has to take our darkest dirtiest secrets and monetize them for some fucking faceless corporation like is everybody it's like it's it's not even shilling like just the typical joke about shilling right like just being a money whore it, this is like a different level like they don't want to just take your money they want to fuck you too that's what they want to do they they don't care about you they care about shekels and if anybody gives them a paycheck they'll do whatever they want that's the same thing happened in candid they took a paycheck for whatever didn't fucking read anything just took a paycheck and same theory with this a paycheck and like oh i get money per per people signing up fucking and what about the defranco part i don't know if you saw this part but where he said oh we wanted you know boogie to be a part of it but we didn't want to talk to him directly so we went around to his company that we knew he worked with and then you know basically linked up with them and then had him get involved with us that way, you know, kind of back door. I don't, I don't know if you saw that part of his video, but that that was the that was one of the main things that jumped out at me. I was like, what the fuck? Like this guy went around. Well, and it was the first video that jumped out at me was the whole oh, I didn't know this was going on. By the way, we partnered with them at a company level. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, I don't I don't give them my support, but at a company level we're partnered with them. Yeah, and he absolutely um you know, he he brought that clip up because we had played it on the stream. He he obviously had seen some of the criticisms that we had leveled at him from this stream, uh, and he brought that up. He was like, oh, what are you guys talking about? Of course, you know that doesn't mean anything. And he tried to explain that away. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just thought his video actually created more problems for him than it did, you know, fix anything. So and the big thing is that he didn't even address the main major criticism, which was the fact that your private personal information is at risk here. You're led to believe because literally everybody else has a confidentiality thing when it comes to talking to a counselor, but they flat out say, yeah, we could totally take your personal information and use it for whatever the fuck we want. And then you look at the ties to uh, this AI shit. He just, he didn't even address it, which I think was the most telling thing about everything. Yeah, it's some it's some wild shit, man. I, I whatever happened to just doing advertisements for fucking porn and video games, <laughs> right? Like you know the safe shit. Like here's something to jack off to, and here's a game to play when you're tired afterwards. Like everybody's gonna <laughs> when get you all out, clever some with pills. It. Here's the pills, <laughs> right? But yeah, now everybody's got to be clever about it. Now let me ask you: Do you think it's gonna go any further? Or is it gonna kind of fizzle out? I I don't know. I I don't think people realize the exact extent, uh, uh like to what BetterHelp is doing. I think that's like, I, I again, I think DeFranco is the story, to be honest. But as far as the company BetterHelp goes, I don't think people are really aware of what they're doing. Like, they've heard that people have gripes about it, but they don't get that it's just shit from the bottom to the top. And I think if people were to figure that out, they'd probably be really angry about it. All right, so what do you got coming up, Jim? Oh, 
probably some hard alcohol after tonight's <laughs> <laughs> that last hour was a little it was a little tough to get through I'm not gonna lie but you know you you led me on this path I was about to sign off and then we played the Worski failure vamp clip and then we rolled right into the Kenny shit and now I just want to hang myself but uh well at least we well, got I, 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 hey, you know, it, I blame it, you I just want to put it out there I'll, I'll pull it I'll, second, I'll, I'll just put it all on Jim it's your fault whatever Worski's appearance was entertaining like he came back and ready to fucking go at it on that second go about with uh, with failure and vamp um, yeah I, I don't know I, I, I yeah like I said I'm gonna go have a drink yes uh, me too try to get Several. some sleep because I want to be up early enough Right to watch mm-hmm. uh, dances with dongas do a superberry uh, <laughs> prayer in front of the campfire because I want to see what's going to happen tomorrow. So that that's probably what I'm going to do. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Medicare, for joining us. I appreciate it, man. Yep, take it easy, guys. Yeah, Later, buddy. All right, guys, I'm just going to sign off. Cause-